We'll end today with our first key concept for natural selection. Make sure you record this. A population can be described by the traits present and by the number of individuals who have each trait. Again, a population can be described by the traits present and by the number of individuals who have each trait. You saw this today with our butterflies and the variety of traits that they had with their wing color. You saw this with our ostrilopes, right? They had different neck lengths, different colors, different fur amounts. You saw this with our thorn palms and our carnathons. So anytime you're looking at a population, you're looking at what traits they have and how many have each of those traits. Thanks for joining me today as we started natural selection. I hope you'll join me next time when we look at what happens to ostrilopes when their environment changes. See you next time.